What is up y'all, it's CJ Moto. I got a snow day today, so I thought it'd be a cool opportunity. Let's get the old 2021 SB69 out in the snow, do a little bike check for it. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel if you don't mind, just take a minute and just subscribe, maybe hit that notification bell, and I'll be coming out with lots of cool content with the Yeti and uh, Suron also. I'm gonna probably do some more Suron content, but anyhow, I'm like Yeti infatuated at the moment. These bikes are just amazing. And let's go take a look at it outside. And don't forget, grab yourself a Guinness before we do this. What is up y'all? It's CJ Moto and I'm back and we got a little bit of snow. There's August out there playing, having a good old time. I figured now would be a good time to do a bike check. The official bike check on my Yeti SB69 2000. 21 we got the fox 36 factory fork on the front with the kashima coating we got the synchros little fender on there that i just recently got we've got the beautiful i9 wheels these are the hydra endura trail 270 wheels and we got a maxis forecaster rolling on that bad boy in the speed the max speed compound uh, super nice tire for wet inclement weather but it also uh, is supposed to grip really well and it's super fast rolling uh, dry condition tire as well uh, we got our ODI Elite Pro grips they're a little bit dirty not too bad I have about 405 miles on this bike right now basically we've got the Yeti carbon frame the highest end Turk carbon because I had this bike built up from the ground up competitive cycles did an amazing job can see right there sb69 we've got the absolute black oval chain ring we've got the one industries chain guard slash uh chain guide there we're running sram uh eagle chain we're running sram uh i'm sorry eagle but it's uh gx for the chain gx for the crank the the new aluminum gx crank i absolutely love them um, GX derailleur and GX cassette and I actually turned the screw all the way in on my derailleur for the low speed so this act this big gear here actually doesn't do it uh, it doesn't shift into that gear it stops right here on the next one down which gives me plenty of climbing power and it also keeps there from being any chance of my chain popping off of there and going into these beautiful spokes that are like ridiculously eight dollars a piece got a little granite um press the valve cover all blue spokes um blue hubs you can see the hub up here well i got the speed sensor up there the garmin speed sensor but here's the blue hub back here in the back you can see that yes baby go home go play a little more over there in the snow and then we'll leave you're tired of the snow already is it cold all right, let me just finish. Show these people the Yeti. What is that right there, Augie? Yeti. Yeti. All right, we got the Fox Flodex 2 rear shock. I actually just recently ordered uh, an actual bearing for up here. It's the upgrade Fox bearing kit. You can get one off Amazon. I'll shoot you a link in the description. A lot of the links to a lot of this stuff, I'll put them in the video description. I got the One Industries... Uh, 180 millimeter dropper post it's super nice i can demonstrate it real quick let me put it down nice fast actuation um, one of my favorite things right now on this bike that i just recently figured out what i liked is the sq labs 611 saddle this saddle is amazing Make sure you measure your sit bone. Uh, look that up online. It's, I might make a video on it, but you want to measure your sit bones. This is the 13, um, size 13 millimeter from uh, point to point. My sit bone actually measures 10 millimeters, or I'm sorry, 10 centimeters, but you go an extra couple. So I went with 13. Gives you plenty of room back here and it has these elastomer inserts. It's got a gray, a white, and a black insert. This is a medium. So you actually get some flex back there when you're riding and man, it just feels amazing. I've got the uh, Look X-Track and Rage pedals. I absolutely love those. And I've got the Garmin cadence sensor there. I've got the Garmin 530 
cycling GPS. It's got all kinds of bells and whistles to it. I'm running the X01 SRAM shifter. That's one of the things I did upgrade. I feel like if you really want the best value for your money with these uh, SRAM Eagle drivetrains, just go GX with pretty much everything and then the shifter upgrade to an X01 or an XX1 and you're gonna get really, really smooth shifting there. I got, oh, I absolutely love these SRAM. They are called the SRAM RSC, the G2 RSCs. You got the adjustable lever travel right there and then you also have adjustable bite right sorry about that little hiccup i got a phone call uh you got the adjustable bite adjustment right there um what else we've got the rental 31.8 millimeter fat bars in gold we got the rental 31.8 millimeter stem in like a 30 millimeter so it's super short we got the deity premium components uh crosshair stem cap wolf tooth component spacers um i think i'm running 10 millimeters of spacers below and that's it pretty slammed not completely but i'm also running a, not really slammed because i'm running a 40 millimeter rise handlebar i absolutely love it got the wolf tooth components dropper lever and what else did i miss guys i think i covered almost everything um sram code rsc yeah SB69 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're running the recon in the back, but I actually got an icon coming today. Make sure you guys grease up your Yeti link real good. I just put some fresh grease in there last night for the first time. Uh, I actually ordered that grease gun offline. We got our Bigfoot hide and seek from when I rode to Jefferson, Texas. I did uh, over 100 miles in like basically 24 hours on this thing. I did, uh, it was like 55 miles each way. Um, felt great other than my ass hurting and that's because i was still running the irk on saddle but this new saddle i went for a 20 some odd mile off-road ride and it was just amazing but yeah i'm gonna go play in the snow some more oh never mind i guess i'm gonna go home i think she finally had enough of the snow <laughs> did you have enough of the snow it is cold and wet that's for sure so yeah yeti cycles guys i hope y'all enjoyed the video i also put this uh 3m uh I'll, I'll put a link to this stuff in there but this stuff's awesome it saved my frame it's made by 3m it's actually made for shower floors but i've got it all over the down tube and it totally saved my down tube one time i i, I went off of a bridge and it, and it tore this covering but it uh didn't hurt the paint at all so that's awesome anyhow that's basically it guys 2021 yeti SB69 in the flesh, baby. She's absolutely a gorgeous bike. Great bikes. It's amazing how well this thing goes uphill. You got the lockout lever right here. That's unlocked. And then you got the firm. That's firm right there. I do run a little bit more uh, low speed <laughs> compression on my shock because i'm running a lot of uh tight single track with rolling hills and stuff and i like that compression being a little bit higher Daddy, so anyhow we're gonna get going say goodbye Bye. wave <laughs> she's ready to go home and watch some tv so that's where we're gonna go peace out y'all cj moto gone